the next couple minutes, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to leverage existing Apigee APIs to develop no-code applications. We're going to start in the Apigee environment where we have an open API specification, an API proxy that represents that spec, and an API product which publishes the API proxy for client applications to consume. Today, an app created in AppSheet will be our client. In our Hipsters Products API Proxy, we can see a pre-flow policy that checks for an API key. This helps to secure the API as only apps that have this secret key can invoke the API. Next, we can see the API product that publishes the API for client applications to use called Hipsters Silver. At the bottom of the API product definition, we can see that an app has been registered already for AppSheet. And this is where we can get the API key for our app. Now we're gonna switch personas. We've been an Apigee API producer up until now. In AppSheet, we will put on the hat of Paul Parker, who's a line of business user. The first thing we'll do is create a data source to point to our API in Apigee. We'll click on the plus data source to add a new one. We'll name the data source Apigee Hipsters Demo and select the Apigee type. We enter the API key from Apigee and the URL to the open API spec, and now we can validate and then authorize access to create the data source. Next, we create an app. We'll go to the My Apps area. AppSheet noticed that we don't have any apps yet, so it's assuming we want to create one. We do. We'll use the Start From Your Own Data option, and the data will come from our Apigee API. We'll call this app Hipsters App. Now is when we get to choose the Apigee data source we created. I'll select Apigee Hipsters Demo. Let's select Product. AppSheet just created the app for us, and we can see the preview of the app in the right pane already. We just need to make a few adjustments. I know that there's a picture of each product in the data, and that's not showing up. We'll change the picture type to Image. The product ID is kind of ugly. Let's change the app to not show that. And then it will show the product name first. Let's save our changes. Now the images are showing up and the product names look great. AppSheet helped us create our first app within a minute. Let's go to the tablet view so that you can see a larger version of the app. We can see that there's also a detailed page created for each of the products, and we can navigate from product to product on the detail screen. Now let's go back to the summary list. Once I've adjusted the app to be just how I want it to be, I'll be able to deploy it to mobile devices and as a web app. This was a quick overview of how to leverage your existing APIs to build no-code applications. Are you ready to empower your business users with AppSheet and Apigee?